بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر گائز ڈیئر مائی کلیگ ٹیچرس اینڈ ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ ٹو ٹیچ بگنرز انگلش ایز اے سینکنڈ لینگویج دا پیپل ہو آر ٹیچنگ انگلش دے آر فیسنگ when they are teaching English to the people whose English is the second language and here we discuss some points premium spoken English classes free For anyone teaching English as a single language to beginner is a difficult and devour. When facing, when teaching English as a single language, no matter what your background or experience level, you will face a frequent new challenges every kid. learn differently just like they do in other disciplines. Simultaneously, depending on the each student's primary language, you will confront additional problem specific to that language. You can, however, obtain the ability you need to teach English as a single language to beginners. with the little efforts and knowledge. Point number one, begin with the letters and numerals. Teaching the letters and numbers should be one of your first priorities. You will provide a solid foundation for everything else your student will learn if you teach them the letters and numbers. Point number two, instruct students in proper pronunciation, particularly for tricky consonants. When teaching English as a second language, teaching pronunciation is a crucial. Consider concentrating on sounds that are particularly difficult for students. learning English as a second language. Point number three, teach nouns to your students. Move on to nouns after teaching the alphabets and numbers. One of the easiest thing for your kids to learn is how to teach nouns. This is because your kids will be able to see everything as a potential source of information. Begin with everyday items in your classroom. Explain how adjectives change the meaning of nouns. Adjectives are necessary for effective communication because they allow you to characterize nouns. Because adjectives are only used with nouns, it is better to teach them shortly after you teach nouns. Adjectives modify or characterize the meaning of other words. You can teach adjectives like crazy, foolish, worried, and nice. First of all, there is a long list of adjectives, but you should start from this. Teach your students about verbs. First of all, you must put in your mind that The list of verbs should be repeated before the students again and again and with the proper forms. Teaching verb will be a critical stage in your people's ability to construct whole sentences written or spoken. 
verb described what is being done verb such as speak talk and pronounce are example of verbs you can teach give you regular verbs particularly tension the tricky english is regular verb go is a wonderful example went is the past tense of go go becomes gone when the past particular is used adverbs modify ver- adverbs verbs adjectives and other adverbs as well as other adverbs you can use adverbs to add more information to your statement adverb can be used by your people to clarify how to what degree they perform something when employing adjectives to the describe a noun they can also utilize adverbs to offer extra depth explain the difference between tenses and articles after you have covered nouns adjective verbs and adverbs you will need to educate your kids about tenses and articles your kids will be unable to construct whole sentences unless they understand how to apply the correct tense and when to use articles tense describe when something happened or happened particular or adjective that provide additional information about a noun make sure to explain past tense present tense and future tense become familiar with the frequent frequent phrases encourage your student to practice and popular phrases as one of the best ways to teach english This is a critical since many common phrases will be misunderstood if your students rely slowly on the literal meaning of the words. Tell your student to repeat and utilize such words until they feel confident utilizing them in conversation. teach the fundamentals of the sentence structure after you have taught your kids the alphabets verbs and other concept you should move on to fundamental sentence formation this is a critical since it will be serve as a basis for them to so help them with their reading teach the five primary pattern that are used to form sentence in english sentence with subject verb the topic is followed by verb is the sentence the dog runs for example thank you very much and subscribe this channel i shall be very thankful to you